We ready? Yep. Welcome to Elvis Fans Matter. And here we are to Lane ask does. a few more <laughs> questions. Alright. Who lived at Graceland when Elvis was stationed in Germany? Uh, nobody. No, because his grandmother shut down. and daddy went with what? him. Yeah, it was shut down. Was, okay. uh, all of Graceland was closed down. They checked on, checked it and everything, yeah. but kept check uh, on it. Mark of Honor came back in uh, 59 for about a week, you know, to, to okay. check on everything. And then he flew back to Germany. Gotcha. Nobody lived there. They had it locked down. Y'all lived it back, didn't you? Up in oh, the yeah, we lived up on the there, property. Yeah, on the property, but we didn't, you know, we didn't go in Grayson. We, you know, it was like I said, it was locked down. Mm -hmm. Were y'all with Elvis during the Hawaii satellite concert? No. no. Uh, we, uh, Danny had just, I believe Danny was in school. Yeah. During that time, and we could, we didn't know. Uh, we didn't go. And I didn't work. And I didn't work for him at, during that during time. During that time. Okay. Um, where was Elvis in the house when he recorded Moody Blue? Because when it's, they said when they go on their the tour at Graceland, they say that it was uh, between the dining room and what's now the what's the the jungle room. Right. Was that where he was? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of the jungle room. Uh, mm -hmm. The reason they used it is because of the carpet, carpet and all, on the ceiling and, and, and all the, and the acoustics, is that what you the say? The acoustics, yeah. Yeah, they, they were better in there. Okay. They even, I, I know they even hung up a blanket or two. Mm -hmm. I they, remember that. They had a petition too that they used, you know. Okay. And all that shut off part of it. Uh, but uh, no, it was all. Well, I remember jungle. that uh, truck being out there, mm -hmm. and uh, Roger um, Lloyd, your cousin, uh, Lo Harold's son, uh, was the one that took that picture that's on that you see of the trucks out there. Mm -hmm. He actually took that picture. He was just a, I don't even know if he, he was a little bit older than Danny, so he was just a, probably about, he was young. Mm -hmm. He wasn't, he Probably had gone up there with his daddy. They came up to a lot, and um, but he had had said he took that picture. I didn't know it. I didn't either. Did that, you? Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I wanted my TCB. Uh, oh, no, she was talking to me. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, did you ever see Elvis get so emotional while singing and on stage that he actually cried? Uh, he teared up when he, uh, he's done Mama Love the Roses. Uh, when he recorded that, he teared up and all. No, he, she means when he was doing a concert on stage. Like on stage or anything? Did oh, he no. ever get very did. emotional? Uh, uh not So was not. that always sweat that you would yeah. see and not mm -hmm. tears that he well, was like? Well, as far as I know, you know. Yeah, but he... He's, <laughs> he sweated bad. <laughs> Lights. <clears throat> um, and again, if y'all if you hear whimpering, that's Baba. She can't Baba, come back I think here. She needs to be on. <laughs> How much did Elvis really know about the Colonel's past and all of his issues? I don't. I never heard him uh, say anything. You. He 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 never mentioned it. But I think he knew, yeah. Um, did, <laughs> my mom barking. Bye -bye. did you know Joyce Bova? Was she ever at Graceland when you were there? Not mm -hmm. that I remember, no. Okay. I mean, I don't know that she wasn't there because, you know, there was Times a when time we when, you know, right. I, I wasn't, you know, and uh, I didn't work for him, you know, so. Right. Uh, I mean, it's possible. I, mean, okay. I, I just don't know. Did you all like Sandy Miller? I did. Which yes. Sandy Miller? Sandy uh, Miller. Um, they're saying, did she have children? And that 
Daddy had mentioned her son before, so I'm guessing she means Rory's mama. Yeah. Okay, Vernon's girl girlfriend. Because there was another Sandy Miller out in California that was a big mm -hmm. fan, yeah. and she. Um, no, I think they're talking about Sandy Miller, the girlfriend. Oh, uh, not I did. Vernon's. I girlfriend. did. Sandy yeah. was real, kind of quiet and didn't. You know, she didn't. She was real domesticated I guess you'd say uh, Vernon loved that because mm -hmm. Sandy would make jams and you know uh, I don't know if Sandy was a nurse I think she had been a nurse I'm not sure but I think no uh, Nolan <laughs> Vernon met her in Vegas I think I'm not sure but um I've been meaning to tell you that, you know, no one's been cheating on you. You're cheating with Sandy Miller? <laughs> she, she was real nice. Uh, and and that was Lori and uh, Laura and Mike's mother. Okay. Yeah, that's what somebody said that Daddy had mentioned in a video. Rory, Rory, Rory and they were Rory friends. Used to all but yeah. live yeah. with us. He, so when was Sandy Vernon's girlfriend? Uh, After D left. <laughs> After D. Okay. I, she lived on Dolan with him. Yeah. And then after sometimes was, around 75 76 yeah. but remember. she was after d yeah yeah okay yeah <clears throat> real so, nice lady yeah real nice it says it's been mentioned that elvis bought linda a house close to graceland he did what happened to that house and did she stay there after they split up yes, yeah she stayed she did, there and, uh i think it was she still had it even after Elvis passed away. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't really know uh, what when, year do you? I don't she know moved when she sold it. And, I don't know when she uh, moved out there permanently. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I know he had had uh, bought a house that he uh, that her mother and daddy lived in too, yeah. and then later um, uh, he let after they Linda and they broke up. Um, after a while, her mother and daddy left the ha that house, and uh, uh, Vester and Cletus moved in there. Yeah. Vernon mm -hmm. let them have it, but I don't remember when Linda got rid of her house. Or I remember going over there. She decorated, and it, it was it was really pretty inside. Was it close to Graceland? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Down the street. Is it still there? Down the yeah. street. Yeah. Down the street. To the right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. On the Graceland tour, um, a fan says that there are bullet holes seen on an outdoor playset slide, and there's an entire room that has like shell casings in it, but the tour never gives a good explanation. Do you know what's up with that? Bullet holes in the slide? In the in a playground slide? I have no idea about that. Okay. No, as uh, far as I know, in the later years, there was no playground slide. Or yeah, that's what I was thinking. There. Yeah. Okay. Do you think uh, maybe it's just been maybe brought in for a uh, for entertainment? I no, no. You mean for an extra I mean, exhibit, or like something? an extra exhibit, or like just to just as a not for anybody to play on, of course, but I mean as a as like know. a. Just I, I don't know. Uh, I don't remember one. Uh, you know, Lisa may have had one. I, I don't think know. Lisa had one, uh, but um, I don't remember any bullet holes being the slide. Okay. And it wasn't there. I don't know. I think there's some pictures of one out there. I I just don't. That must have been when she was real little because Lisa yeah. advanced to go. You know, uh, go kart. <laughs> yeah. Uh, early golf carts golf carts golf okay. carts <laughs> so you're just not sure uh most of the shooting was done uh in the uh room right next to the office mm -hmm. elvis had some uh telephone poles stuck together mm -hmm. and had silhouettes of, of uh you know, it, like uh, a person. Yeah, a person, okay. you know, the target and all that. Like, really, a, like when you go to the range or something. Yeah, like okay. at the p police and, range. Uh, the that's, shooting range. If we don't need shooting, that's basically that's where it was. Okay. Because the subdivisions and all around, mm -hmm. you couldn't... Uh, you couldn't no, really I mean, you couldn't take a chance, you know, of 
killing somebody, you know. I mean, in Memphis away. now, they, they don't make it. <laughs> Nowadays, there are bullet holes and everything. <laughs> Um, what kind of toothpaste did Elvis use? Well, I know he used Colgate some, but uh, there might have been others too. Mm -hmm. I don't know over the years, you know. What about um, a, his like soaps and shampoos, deodorants, colognes? Mm -hmm. He well, used that Neutrogena. So Neutrogena soap. Okay. Soap and, uh, mm -hmm. Cologne, I know he used Aramis. Okay. And, um, a lot of people say he used. Um, he actually used brute for a brute. little while. He used yeah. brute for a little while. He he Ooh, did that's some strong stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what was that Richard used to use? And they aggravated the canoe. 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 Yeah. <laughs> they they would aggravate Richard and call him a canoe. And he said, "Well, you know, smells better." Than, uh, body odor. Body odor. Body odor. <laughs> <clears throat> if Elvis was alive today, what do you think he would be doing? <laughs> uh, like me, laying around, I'd imagine, you know, <laughs> since uh, he'd have been in his 80s, you know, I don't, I don't figure he would have been real active. You don't think he'd have been doing racquetball? No. <laughs> oh. I think he would have still been uh, whizzing and looking for girls. <laughs> <laughs> he'd still be on his golf cart. Yeah. You think he'd still be on a motorcycle? No. No. I don't think so. He'd still be driving them cars though. Oh yeah. 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 But uh, it, you know, I don't, I don't feel like he would have been, you know, doing like the stuff we did back in the earlier days, you know. And, I cannot imagine him old. I cannot picture him in his 80s or mm -hmm. 90. I, I just, it just doesn't. Doesn't seem to mm -mm. come about in your mind, does it? Uh-uh. I just could not even imagine him not being just like he was, you know. Did you ever hear Elvis and Lisa sing together around the house? Like even just playing around or no, I can't say as I did. Uh, like I said, I did no. Yeah. Now he did have her come up and play the piano, piano for, you. for me. Yeah, he yeah he, he had did uh, call that, her up you know. and and uh, have and for her age, you know, he she was, was good, little. You know, yeah, and was he learning, was so you know. proud. And yeah, he was proud of that boy. He did. How did yeah, she he learn how to play? Did he? I, teach I don't her? know if she took. Piano lessons out in California. I don't either. Or, I'm or, thinking or, that she probably did. I think she did, but I don't know for sure. You now that's something for silly to have to answer. Yeah. Uh, I know she didn't when she was at Chrysler. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shouldn't have time. No, no, she <laughs> wanted to play on them golf carts. Oh, Lord, and stuff. she loved. To, she loved to be a. I can never. When I think about her, I think about her as that little kid. It's just, you know. And it it just seems like she's still here. I can just see that little face. How but anyway. how did y'all feel about the news of the um, the possible foreclosure on Graceland? And are you all just glad and re relieved that it was just a fraudulent thing and it was not a oh definitely not true? it was just a fraudulent yeah, thing. Yeah, you know? I didn't I didn't I, really I just think there was really, anything to that. I, I didn't buy that from the beginning. No, you I didn't know, either. I just, uh, what was it? Three million. A foot was it? Three point. Three point five million, yeah, or three and that was million. worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. And you know, if she only borrowed three million, mm -hmm. give me a break, you know. Mm -hmm. And that would have foreclosed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So, I mean, you all were just relieved that it was taken care of, and because you don't want to see it. No, I would never no. want to see it. Uh, see it sold or or mm -hmm. bought out or anything. <clears throat> I mean, it liable to be one day. One I mean, day, you know, but you know. That's a, right. Stay a, you know, stay a uh, tourist attraction and uh, all in Memphis and what do they call that? Uh, historical. Historical, uh, yeah. Landmark. Landmark. Uh, the main thing is, 
Elvis's body and his parents and you know Lisa, all of them being uh, buried, being buried there, there. It just that that was the only thing that you know, or not the only thing, but I mean the most that would have bothered me is all right. you know being in. Well, I mean, I just can't see. I can't see that. Like it could, what they would do. I mean. In my opinion, I mean, if it was foreclosed, sold out, whatever, I mean, they would have to move them. And, I mean, to me, that disrupting the, the dead. I don't know. I don't know if they if they could since it's, since they were buried there and right. had permission and all that. I don't, I don't know how all yeah. that works. I, I don't know. The good thing is that, that I think it's yeah, it passed was a big and hoax it was, and, um, yeah. Proven to be that it was like a fraudulent type yeah. thing of somebody overseas or something is what they I were saying know. on the I, news. I, no, it was just, like somebody yeah. from another country supposedly was trying to claim all of this, but saying it was a yeah, United that, States yeah, that, loan that, company. So that's, but, that's ridiculous. Yeah. You know, I just, like I said, I didn't even buy that from the start. I didn't no. either. I didn't really think about it one way or the other. Uh, until I mean they were already saying you know it was a big right yeah fake thing I I just couldn't see it no well, people spent as much time doing good and, you know as they what did I wanted. fraud it would be a good world. yeah but I mean what I would would have thought was you know I think um, Raleigh is pretty well off. And I wouldn't have really thought that she would let that happen. No, uh, no. You know, even... And there's, uh, from what I understand, she was right on top of she it. Was, able, you know, right, taking yeah. care of it, clearing yeah. it up, not letting anything happen. Mm -hmm. You know, knowing this this is just not the case. So I think she good. does a pretty good job I looking out for her and her sisters. I do too. You know, she's a... She seems like yeah, I, she, I've never met her, never met any of them, but she seems like she has a, you know, good head on her yeah. shoulders. And she celebrated a birthday the other day, and I didn't realize that she's 35 years yeah. old. Yeah, yeah. Um, good for her, because she doesn't look 35 years old to me, so no. good for her. Uh, what would Elvis think of the crime in Memphis now? Oh. Would he be disappointed? In Memphis, yeah, I think he would have been. You know, yeah, I, mean, I do too. Uh, did he love Memphis? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah he did. Sure. Well, you know, that was, that there, was his home. You yeah, know, so the, many memories and all over Memphis. Yeah. You know, well back then, do you? I mean, you felt safe. Oh well, yeah. yeah, we used to go downtown, like my cousin Priscilla and me, and we we would go downtown to the movies and just. You know, walk, right. park in a parking lot, walk into to the movie. It was safe. It was safe. You back know, then. Uh, we don't go across the state line unless we have to. I feel like it's it's sad because it could be a nice what I call southern city. It could be yeah. nice. It could be well taken care of. And there would be so much to do when people do come to town. Yeah. Not just Graceland, yeah. but going downtown. Go Because it is a pretty area yeah, down you know, by the river in downtown, but you're just not safe. The Bill Street. I mean, it's got a lot of, um, you know, history. They're trying yeah. to keep it safe, you know. They're they trying, yeah. Police, you know, uh, down on Bill Street mm -hmm. now and, you know, and all that. So, you know, they do the best I mean, it's can. not just Memphis, though. It's oh, any no, big city. Crime, you know. crime is everywhere. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm not, I'm not just down in Memphis, but I mean, I, we do say it's not the safest place. But I mean, I even know, though there's big crime there, there's other cities yeah. that are oh, God worse. Yes. We yeah. used to be so proud though when we'd go, you know, go out or go with Elvis somewhere, and somebody would say, you know. Or talk. Where are y'all from? Memphis. You Memphis. Know, we we yeah. were proud to say we were from, from Memphis. No, I wasn't. I was from Portland. Portland. <laughs> <laughs> we did. That's an inside joke. <laughs> we did that when we went with Elvis and when they went to get married. Uh, some reporters came to our door asking if that was um, where they see our 
the tags on somebody's car or something. Yeah, and they wanted to know if we was with Elvis. From if we were from Memphis and Billy said through the door, we didn't open the door. No, man, we're from Portland. <laughs> <laughs> It, it is a shame, then. Yeah. We had a lot of adventures, didn't we? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So many adventures. Did Elvis have Jewish roots on his mama's side? Have I've like heard that. Jewish roots on his mama's side? I have heard that. After he passed away, we heard it. We never heard it before Before no. he passed away. I, but I have heard that. But you're on it his, could be. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but you're on that. his mama's side, and I mean... Uh, immediate family, you were not aware of no, Jewish. no, not uh, of course. You know, I didn't. Uh, we didn't have a family tree. We didn't pay uh, attention to stuff like that when I was, you know, when I was coming up or right. with Elvis and all that. In fact, I didn't see a family tree until after Elvis passed away right. and somebody else, you know, put it on there. Right. So you know, I'm mad. But I mean, as far like. What I'm saying is, who all, like out of your cousins, like the brothers, the sisters, no, Gladys, no, Travis, no, everybody. If you're, and anybody. I'll tell you something else too, Billy. We were talking about this this afternoon before Danielle came. The spelling of Aaron. Uh, it was not on his birth certificate. The real spelling was A R O N. Somebody asked um, Vernon. Billy said somebody asked him if he named Marty. him. Asked Marty asked him. Okay, yeah. I didn't know it was Marty. Yeah, Marty, Marty asked, asked him if it, he was named after Aaron from the Bible, and Vernon said, yeah. And he said, well, you know, it's spelt with two A's. So Vernon, Elvis wanted it fixed, so it was like that. So was his name legally changed? To AA? No. Not, not legally. Not, not legally, legally, but no. le so legally, yeah. his he just birth certificate, it, it was A-R-O-N. A-R-O-N. Uh -huh. Okay. And you know, especially down in the South, um, I've got a cousin or maybe and a two, I think, and their names are Aaron, and they're spelled A-R-O-N. A -R -O -N. That's just the way. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of times people, down South, they print, they'll they say Aaron. 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 Okay. But... Um, I don't know. Was that all the questions? No, I have more for our next video. Okay. Yeah, okay. I have more for our next video. So this is all for this video? That was all for this video. You um, I, I was going to ask you something else. Well, ask me. Sure, that went along and I can't remember what it was. I lost it. Lost your chain of thought. Right? Yeah, we were talking about... I've oh, lost. no, I was going to say, I've Marty asked mind. when Laney was born, asked you, yeah. because we spell Laney's name L-A-N-E-Y, and he said... That's a Jewish asked name. ...asked if uh, my husband was Jewish yeah. because... Laney, and then um, yeah. we had a customer at the at the company that Nolan and I were both working for, and their last name was L A N E Y Laney, really? and yeah. he and he asked the same thing because yeah. we said her name is Laney, and he said, <clears throat> "Are you, you have Jewish family?" And we said, "No," and he said, "That's our last name, and that's how we spell yeah. it. We're Jewish." So yeah, Marty had asked me that, and um, I mean Marty, Marty was Jewish, and um. That's what he asked uh, as soon as he found out that you had named your Laney. He he said, "You know that's a Jewish name," and I said, "I didn't I didn't know it." Mm -hmm. But you know, in the movie, that you picked that name from a movie. In the movie, the girls they were Jewish. Mm -hmm. So I guess you know. Um, Lamar was Lamar Jewish. He said he was, it, but I. Well, now he told me he was not. <laughs> yeah, he, he, well, he's, you know how Lamar, Lamar was. Yeah. Lamar, it was. Uh, if it fit the need, you know, I was Lamar. Was, he, <laughs> Lamar said, I was, I was raised up in Cleveland, Mississippi, and he said, I, you know, I, I, we ate country food, and, and uh, I know we had a, a cook. Uh, everybody was supposed to bring something. We we met over at David and uh, his first wife, um, Angie's house, mm -hmm. David and Angie. And everybody was supposed to cook something. And uh, Lamar said, I'm going to make um, shoe peg corn. Because <laughs> he said, uh, Gladys used to make that. I said, he said, I bet nobody can make cornbread. And I said, I can. He said, you can make cornbread? I said, yeah, I can. I've, I've been making cornbread since I was about 10 years old. 
So I made the cornbread. And you can't he, be from Mississippi and not, uh, not eat cornbread. cornbread. Uh, he told, uh, Marty said he told him, oh, Joe makes the best cornbread that you've ever tasted. <laughs> but see, Lamar ate stuff like that. He didn't mm -hmm. eat kosher. I didn't know kosher. he was from Mississippi. Yeah, he was from Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Cleveland, Mississippi. Cleveland, okay. Mississippi. He, he used to tell about having dinners with um, Elvis, and he said, um, if you didn't want to make Gladys mad because if you did, he said, you'd liable to have a bowl of peas thrown in your lap or whatever. He said, be, <laughs> you know how dramatic it yeah. It'd be tomato slices flying here, flying there. <laughs> <laughs> he was a character. He was. He was a character. I love Lamar. Missing. Yeah. Well, I, I miss all, all of them. I miss it. all of them. Just whew, part of that, our life is part of that. It, and it's all gone now. Yeah, you know, it's like the, it's. I guess about uh, about the only one is you know, is uh, Jerry and of course David Stanley, and Dean and and, and, and uh, Dean, yeah, and, and Al. Al. And, uh, you know, we were pretty close Outside to Al. Outside that, you know, most yeah. Of, but we don't hardly hear from Al. We hear from Dean. Uh, to, to be honest, I mean, everybody has their faults, but that was the best bunch of guys to be around. Well, naturally, Elvis handpicked them. Yeah, Elvis yeah. handpicked them. <laughs> Thank goodness. I mean, I had known. <laughs> Thank goodness I, had I had won. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I yeah. just, I grew up around them. I was like 14, and, and heck, they acted, just treated me like I was, you know, mean little kid or something. <laughs> well, that's what Red told me one time. He said, you, you, you're you, so mean. He said, you make me think of a little old mean boy. And I said, boy? <laughs> well, so, you know what I mean. Just You're the last living member of the original yeah. Memphis Mafia, right? Yes. yes. Okay. The ones that were named by the... When, when we were named the Memphis, we named Mafia, the Memphis Mafia, Mafia. In Las Vegas by that gotcha. reporter. And, uh, of course, as people came into the group, they became, Memphis you know, Mafia, until yeah. they left, and then they weren't, you know, but, um... It just kind of stayed with us over the years, you right. know. Yeah. We actually didn't refer to ourselves in no. the Memphis Mafia. Right. They referred to themselves as the guys. Yeah. The guys. Mm -hmm. What did Elvis refer to you as? Uh, Assholes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, you don't get ugly now. <laughs> As, as all the fans, you know, not, you know, just, uh... You guys. We, we were the guys. The and guys. Of course, you know, some some of them called us leeches and hangers-on and all that, uh, so, you know. Y'all I mean, been called everything. Everything. Yeah. 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 But the thing about it was, but it wasn't up to anybody we, except Elvis. Well, right. We were named and, and picked by Elvis, right. you know, it makes no difference if we're... Hanging on, or you know, I mean, I or hanging if, out. <laughs> if I'd, yeah, if I'd have been hanging on, I'd have had all my teeth pulled because I'd have bit down and <laughs> hung on like a hold on like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a lot out of jealousy from yeah. from people that wanted to be there and tried their best to be there, and you know, the, you had to fit in. Yeah, you had to fit. You couldn't just be. I mean, there were some that kind of. Didn't, but they didn't stay a long time. No, they usually weren't there. No, long. they weren't there a long time. And uh, same way with girlfriends, <laughs> you know, the ones that were really, you know, and he usually knew within a, you know, short time. Short time. Short time. Yeah. <laughs> a day or two. Yeah, a day or two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, with that, I guess we'll wrap this one up and uh, stay tuned again next week. We'll have more coming. More. More. And more coming. More. And with that, Elvis fans. Elvis fans. Matter. 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 Big time.
Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.